Greetings, Michael Tiemann here from the Digital Division of Manifold Recording, here with some hot news about a new tool we've just released. It's a new tool we're calling the GeoLUT, which brings the power of RED's GeoScope into the post-production suite. This allows for after-action exposure evaluation and also enables objective conversations between DPs, editors, and colorists based on objective references to raw sensor data. A common mistake that RED users make, and you see it all the time on reduser.net, is metering one's monitor instead of metering one's scene. Now, on our monitor here, we can see that yes, there is a little histogram that we can look at, and yes, the bulges to the left that tells us this scene is gonna be underexposed. But the goal post is not exactly full, and our little uh, monitor here on the left makes us believe that maybe we've got all the data we need, and of course, Red's legendary dynamic range, to get a good image. But if we look a little bit more closely, the geoscope will tell us the real story. The geoscope shows us the full dynamic range of the red sensor. And what we can see here quite clearly is we got a lot of purple, a lot of dark blue, and uh, we barely even make it to middle tone gray. So we're really using only half of the dynamic range of the camera, and that's going to create problems for us later. It's going to give us extra noise. It's going to give us uh, other issues. Now in this scene, we have the tools that we need to come up with a good exposure. We know that 18% gray is the basis of RED's log 3G10 gamma uh, encoding, and the chroma du monde chart gives us a big field of 18% gray. So we can use that field and we can line it up with chip number 11 on the geoscope. And that is going to be important for maximizing our dynamic range. We pull that to where it belongs. And now we've got a properly exposed image with maximum dynamic range. There are reasons that you might want to put 18% gray to the left or to the right of chip number 11. That's basically applying the zone system to cinema cameras. I'm all for that. But if you don't know where your reference is, you're lost. And you may bring something into the post-production suite that gets other people lost too. So now I'm going to introduce this new tool and give you the opportunity to play along at home. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record an aperture sweep to give us some raw data. The geoscope gives us a really clear idea of how we're allocating our exposure across the dynamic range of the sensor. But what if you want to be able to use this tool to evaluate images in post? How can you do it? Well, you might think, hey, that's pretty easy. I'll just build a creative LUT. However, what we figured out is how to use IPP2 plus a LUT plus a CDL to properly bring this function into post. So here is my secondary monitor. I'm going to turn on that LUT. And now what I can do in the post suite is I can look at that same data that normally would exist only on the camera on set. And so now I don't have to guess what was really happening. If I wanted to find where was middle tone gray the day this footage was shot, I can look at the GeoLUT and I can find where that chip was and whether or not the image was correctly exposed. 
So, as I say, we're releasing that tool. You can find it on manifoldrecording.com. Check out our news feed at manifoldrecording.com slash news. And stay up to date with our latest announcements by subscribing to the Manifold Recording channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. T22 to T16 to T11, T8, T5.6, T4, T2.8, T2, T1.5.